Enhance, then forward, frame by frame. All right. We're down in Florida. We get a hotel. I take the complimentary bottle when I'm in. I'm just like slowly dripping it on it. See, it puts the lotion on the skin. Yeah, no, I prefer if you didn't do that. I want some my room service to come through and see a camera set up like towards the beds here like this. You like that? Smile real quick. Hey, room service to burn. Christine turns on the fucking light. Christopher said. What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? April's really gonna say I told you so. What do you, what do you mean? Did she, she's just like, Chris is gonna set up a camera in front of your bed and start recording you. No, she's always made gay jokes about Eric and I. Oh, well, I mean, that makes sense, because... Yeah. <laughs> Listen to what's happening right now. Okay, hopefully she never watches her channel, because... I this... don't think she actually does. <laughs> There's just clips of two cut, like, the two shots together, so it's just like, it looks like one fucking bed. <laughs> it's pretty much, there's not much to say. Just like you go on any vacation, you just stay in a hotel. Except, if there's a line between business and pleasure, it was slightly over into the business side on their end. The reason they want to do it is to try to expand the YouTube channel that they've got. And because of that, it, it, it almost was more work than it was enjoyable. As weird as that is to say. <laughs> Cut into my shoe. Wait, is it on shoe? Because you're going to a car event, that should be fun, right? It doesn't matter if you got a camera or not. We got a little frisbee to play with now. It was probably really hot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't know. For me, this wasn't a huge investment on my part. I paid for a little bit of gas, but they paid for everything else. And the total amount they spent was in the few thousand dollar range. Yeah, she's good. Between the hotel, uh, the tickets, the gas, or diesel, the car, the trailer, the, just getting all the stuff sorted. It wasn't a kick in the wallet only. It was actually, it, it was a huge investment of time as well. Wednesday up to Sunday. Oh my God, holy shit. I'm parking right now. Oh fuck. What the fuck? The parking brake sucks ass, dude. You're not working in that time. You're not making money in that time. And, you know, half of that we're just driving just to be able to go down and participate in a burnout event that really will, it'll, it'll net them some views. But monetarily, it doesn't get you anything. You're in the negative there. <laughs> You're in debt going down, or at least I would have been because I don't have a job right now. And I still paid for a little bit of fuel. I didn't pay as much as they did. I ended up, <laughs> at the very end of it, I had to sell a car. There's a Ferrari right behind us, but we don't care about the Ferrari. Is there a Ferrari now? So anyway, you know, you go down there and it, crowds are gathered from all over the place. People are flying from across the U.S. and I'm talking to some people and they're nice people for the most part. But then it's the typical NASCAR crowd. There's not one minority here, except for maybe, I think, oh, well, there he we is. have at least two. At least two, me and that guy. I could zoom in on these people over here in the booth. I don't care. I'll get kicked out. See, check this out. I can zoom in on her ass. Oh, Chris. See? I go to that place. Pull on the way. Oh, 
every time he does a donut with that truck, the tailgate comes that's off. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That's the action I want. Gotta, See, nobody appreciates it behind the scenes. Go on, Cleet! Do a, do a kickflip! I go to NASCAR every year at the walk, uh, the Glen, Watkins Glen racetrack, except for last year when they didn't have anything going on because of the coronavirus. It was exactly the same demographic you would see off at a racetrack. At least my local racetrack, there was barely any difference between the people. Like, they all looked about the same. New York just went legal two days ago. <laughs> they did. I'm from New York. <laughs> yeah, we, we drove down for this. Really? Oh, wow. oh so did I. What part? Where are you from? We're upstate. So are we. Where are we from? Watkins Glen. Oh, I'm from Corning. In fact, there were a couple people. I met some guys from Watkins Glen. I don't know what their names were, but uh, it was cool meeting you. <laughs> You're never going to watch it, I would say. It was cool meeting them. They kind of asked what my YouTube channel was, and I said, oh, you wouldn't like it. Because <laughs> it's this. I don't do really anything with cars. In fact, Oren mentioned on the drive, he doesn't really think some people are car guys who I'm friends with, which I agree. And then he's like, well, even you, you're not really a car guy. And I'm kind of inclined to agree. When somebody drives by with loud exhaust system, I don't look out the way. I don't care. I guess it depends on your definition of car guy. Under some people's definition, I'm not, I'm not it. Because I don't modify my car. I fix it to the point where I can kind of drive and I just drive it uh, until it breaks and then I just fix it again and drive it again. So there's, there's me, not a car guy. <laughs> and I'm dressed in something stupid. I'm, I'm dressed in, it's not stupid, it's very stylish, but I'm dressed in something similar to this, except it was a black blazer instead, or sport jacket, whatever it is. Nobody is very impressed with what I'm wearing. I think one girl mentioned that she, she's like, oh, you're the classiest dressed person here. At one point, I was like, I'm never gonna see these people again. And then, uh, shoot, it wasn't Digital Underground. It was some sort of funky song. It came on, I started dancing to it. So I start kind of getting into it a little more. And then Orrin busts out his camera. You know what? Like I was saying, I already had the thought in my mind, I'm not gonna see these people again. And there were a few YouTubers and some other guys. Tanner Faust rings a bell. I think he was in on American Top Gear. I didn't even see his face. Just came out in a car. <coughs> Like I was saying, it's not really a meet and greet type deal. There are a ton of YouTubers that I don't really know, but they're pretty high up there in status. And they were treated like that. They were treated like celebrities. You would see people who were like, yeah, let's go out here. There's a guy who wanted to go up and get an autograph. And they're like, hey, <laughs> get away. Pulls out a taser. And tases like a drunk member of the crowd. But, okay, so I was dressed up in that sport jacket so I could interview people because I had a little microphone with me I thought it'd be kind of funny if I were to interview people like, what do you think of the event? I started to pull out my camera and they said, well, you should go check up front. So I go check up front. I'm like, hey, listen, I'm doing a little bit of media and I'd like to do some interviews with people. I just need to know your rules and regulations with it. They bring some security up and they're like, hey, no, no, we don't, we don't want that. They said it exactly like that too. They're like, no, I don't, I don't think so. No, <laughs> like they had to think about it. They had to make the decision right then and there. I don't think there really was any rules against it. I think they just decided to make it right then because I was sitting there saying that I'm from New York and I want to shoot some interviews for media purposes. And like, no, I don't think so. We got that covered. Like they're afraid of negative press or something. I don't know. What, what if I went up and somebody's like, oh yeah, it's fun. And then another guy says, oh yeah, it's kind of boring. It was a little bit of a letdown. They really don't want that. They don't want a, any, like, any sort of criticism. But here's my criticism to that. For being a racetrack that was supposed to be saved and it's supposed to be used for fun, 
these dudes are doing burnouts or driving nitrous powered vehicles and spinning each other out for the fun of it. It's strangely political for that, which I understand. You got to be political to some extent, but whatever. Now I'm getting, this is, this is boring. This is some boring stuff. <laughs> Succeeded and succeeded with. That's right, that's right. All right, there we are. Cletus, we got, we got, don't do anything incriminating. We got you on the camera. That dude was mad. Come on. Come on. Now, it was fun, don't get me wrong, but you're at a race event and you're not participating. It's not a meet where you can meet up with these YouTubers. I don't watch any of them. I have no idea what they do. I know Cletus, I heard he's, he, he has a Corvette. <laughs> like that's the extent of my knowledge of, of uh, Cletus. Well, it's not really his real name. It's uh, Garrett Mitchell, I believe. Not Cletus McFarland. That's a persona of his. Interesting, yeah. Whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about him. Whistling Diesel. Uh, I heard about that guy. Some people love him. Some people hate him. <laughs> kind of like me, I guess, right? Except he's he's just done it much more successfully. Versus me, who's sitting in front of a camera that I bought in 2014 for my senior trip. Uh, <laughs> just, just talking to it. This video is going to be probably longer than it should be, but here I am. The good thing is, I was, I was with a couple of people and it could divert the embarrassment to them because people would look at them and be like, those, those dudes are hanging out with that guy who's dancing? That idiot? That dumb idiot dancing? What kind of dispersed the embarrassment between the three of us? I had... I was the majority shareholder, if you will. I had about 60% embarrassment, and they each had 20 because they were associated with me. You see what I'm saying? So it was kind of nice in that aspect. I was able to get away with something stupid because I was with other people. We're dumb as a group at that point. Nobody was impressed, by the way. Everybody was not happy. Even the children were like, what, what is that guy doing? He got some sort of disease. Is he... Uh... <laughs> I stopped dancing. We walk away and we come back. I'm standing there because I didn't really want to sit in the bleachers. It's hot and I want to stand away from the sun. Some guy walks by, he's like, what are you doing? Go back up there and entertain us. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. Other than that, I can almost guarantee that people are kind of up there being like, does he think he's cool for dancing? Because that's what I would have thought. I was just trying to have a good time. Never going to see them again. I'm not going to go back to another Cletus and Cars event, I don't think at least not down in Florida. 
Uh, so, you know, whatever. <laughs>